Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I want to share with you in this video my own personal experience with switching back to one meal a day. And if you have not watched the video where I talked about me stopping eating one meal a day, I put a link for the video up above. I recommend that you pause this video and go and watch that one if you haven't already and then come back and play the rest of this video. But I mentioned a little bit about it in this video. So yeah, I got quite sick and me getting sick is a very rare phenomenon to occur. And yeah, during this sickness, I didn't really have any desire for food, so I was fasting the majority of the time for a few days. And when I was consuming some calories, it was small amounts of juice or coconut water. And then as I started to recover from the sickness and my hunger started to come back, I found that I just didn't want to eat one meal a day anymore. So I was allowing myself to eat when I wanted to, but what I say is I was still sticking to intermittent fasting. My body still didn't want breakfast, but I was normally fasting around 17 hours a day. And I continued to do that for a little while. And then I found the natural desire to start fasting longer and trying to go back to eating one meal a day. So rather than trying to go straight from multiple meals a day straight into one meal a day, I slowly eased myself back into it because that's what I felt a natural desire to do because there was at some points throughout this experience that I tried to push longer with the fasting window than I had been doing after the sickness and it was just too much stress on my body and it just wasn't good at all so I was listening internally and doing what was right for me so what I did was I went from fasting around 17 hours a day and then the next day it was 18 hours then 19 hours then 20 hours then around 21 hours and then 22 hours and then to around the 23 hour mark and by slowly increasing it i found it relatively easy and what i say is just for that short period of time where i was eating around two meals a day and fasting around 17 hours that my body had got used to those natural rhythms of eating so for anyone trying to switch to one meal a day i want to make you aware of this is that yeah you're going to get hunger pains quite possibly. You're going to get all these noises where you feel hungry and all this stomach stuff going on where you think that you need to eat. But it's just your body producing a peptide known as ghrelin. And if you push through that, as shown through scientific research and from also my own experience I can share with you, is that it starts to go away and ghrelin production goes down. So then you won't feel those hunger pains and those hunger sounds going on and you won't feel so hungry. So yeah, this was happening to me as I was trying to switch back to one meal a day, but I just pushed through and made sure that I was productive and busy. I found that if I wasn't keeping myself preoccupied, then I felt more of a desire to eat food and have multiple meals in a day. But yeah, I just pushed through. And what I found is once I switched back to one meal a day recently, which I've done it three times and it, I'm gonna easily stick to it now, is that at first it was harder to push through and fast for around 23 hours a day but then the following days it just got easier and easier and easier and now where i'm at back on the fourth day yeah it just feels that i'm back to when i was eating one meal a day for around six months it's very very easy so just remember at first it can be difficult because you've got those old rhythms of eating and your body's used to them but over time they will start to dissipate and then they will be non-existent. And a huge thing for me to actually be able to go back to one meal a day and find it easy is setting in my mind that yes, I only eat one meal a day and I don't eat any other meals throughout the day. That is absolutely key that you have that mindset because when you're programming that within your conscious and your subconscious mind, you tend to just not think about having multiple meals throughout the day. So that's some valuable advice that I can share to you so you can succeed on one meal a day like I have managed to. The second addition I want to share with you is what I noticed when I was actually eating multiple meals throughout the day, a lot of the time when I feel some hunger come up, be like, oh my god, I need to eat, my body needs food. And it was funny how my mindset had changed because when I was eating one meal a day, if I'd feel hunger come up, I would just ignore it and just get on with my life and just let it pass and it would be absolutely fine and I would feel really, really good. So yeah, this is a very, very interesting experience for me to have. And it wasn't exactly the best experience as well because I found at certain points I was just eating when I didn't actually need to eat. But I was just being very mindful around this and yeah, as I was progressing towards one meal a day, I was just pushing through it, getting on my life and just, 
yeah, not letting it take over and just indulging when I didn't actually need to eat. And for me personally, it just feels so good to be back on eating one meal a day because I only have to think about eating once in the day. Rather than when I was eating multiple meals a day recently, I'd think about food multiple times throughout the day and I'd have to make sure that I had access to food when I was going out and it was just using up a lot more of my mental power. So then I had less focus upon the other things in life that I wanted to achieve and be productive with and yeah, it just wasn't the best for my mind at all. So since switching back to one meal a day, there's so much less time focused upon food, so I focus upon these other things so much more, achieve so much more in life, and achieve more of my goals, and just do much more within my life, and spend less time eating, which I just absolutely love that benefit. And obviously all the other benefits, like the hormonal benefits you get with human growth hormone production, testosterone production, autophagy, glucagon production, insulin going down, insulin sensitivity being improved, and all these other amazing benefits as well that are massively increased when you fast for a longer period of time. And that's why one meal a day is the best intermittent fasting diet out there because it's gonna give you the greatest benefits out of all the different intermittent fasting methods out there. And one last thing I'd like to add, in case anyone's wondering, before I got sick, I made a video a week or two before saying that I was now doing calorie restriction that I'd been naturally drawn towards. And I talk about that more in a video that I put a link for up above. In case you haven't seen that, I highly recommend you go and check that out is that yeah i'm still doing calorie restriction now i don't feel desired to eat loads and loads of calories where i used to eat around three to four thousand calories i'm eating on average around a thousand five hundred calories maybe two thousand calories sometimes at a push and yeah i'm just feeling really good for that i have an abundance of energy throughout the whole day my mind is working so well and i am just feeling really really good overall holistically in my mind and body so yeah it's all good and i will keep you updated on my journey with one meal a day as always and let you know any changes that's going on with my diet and so forth and any changes notice in my body or my health as well so yeah that's it for this video if you have any questions leave them down below and i get back as soon as possible if you like the video like it down below give us a thumbs up and please share this video with anyone that you think would love to hear about my own personal experience with switching back to one meal a day and if you haven't already click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis and if you subscribe the type of videos you can expect to get from me are videos on topics such as one meal a day and intermittent fasting and there'll be informational videos so you can succeed on these intermittent fasting methods calisthenics workout and progression videos what I eat in a day videos what i do in a day and many other different videos to teach you of so much different information to help you go in the direction of gaining maintaining the body desire the fitness levels and the energy levels as well and also that i hope my videos at the same time will inspire you and motivate you to push yourself to achieve those things and sustain them long term so if those type of videos sound good to you make sure you click that subscribe button down below and you click that bell notification button next to the subscribe button otherwise youtube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and i have new ones coming almost every single day so as always stay fit stay energetic and go and get those gains peace